Hey everybody, it's Kristen or VSG Hard on My Sleeve and I am coming to you with another video. This one is all about my February theme of love yourself. So um, I think in this journey particularly we have to really work on changing the way we think about ourselves. Um, most of us for years or all of our lives have thought of ourselves on this repeat cycle of negative thought, negative self-talk, I'm fat, I'm not good enough, I'm ugly, everybody's staring at me, I can't get that job because I'm not pretty enough, I can't go to the gym because they'll laugh at me because I can't run a mile, um, I don't want to shop in that store because I can barely fit in their pants or I, they don't have my size. Um, it's just a constant negative self-talk on replay and so you know, here I am nine months out and I still catch myself doing it and um, looking in the mirror for flaws instead of looking in the mirror and seeing how far I've come or getting on the scale and thinking I'm at 154. Um, you know, I still have 14 pounds to go to get to my goal. Am I going to get there by my one year post-op surge anniversary? Who cares? Like, look how far we've come. It's time to change um, the way we think and talk to ourselves. And I truly believe that uh, in order to be, I guess, how do I want to say this? You need to love yourself the way you want others to love you. You need to look at yourself the way you want others to look at you because you're going to carry yourself that way and you're going to accept love from other people that's equal to what how you treat yourself in your own head. Um, and And maybe that's a little deep but you know what that was sort of my goal for this month was to talk about this topic and um, and it's important for us because like I said most of us for our entire lives or most of our lives have had that negative self-talk over and over and um, you know you have to change it or you're not gonna get from others what you're wanting because you're gonna be willing to accept less than what you deserve um, and so okay I've I found this quote or whatever, I don't know, paragraph that I thought sort of goes hand in hand and it's sort of food for thought. Um, so I am going to read it to you and you guys can either respond or take it for what it is or don't respond at all. Just think about it on your own. It made me think, so I thought I would share it. Um, so here goes. It takes a level of self self love of dedication and determination to live your greatest life. So look within yourself. Look at every area of your life and ask yourself these questions. Am I on course? Am I growing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually? Anything that is blocking those things, anything that is preventing you from living your greatest life, make the tough decision to let it go. Um, so I don't know what it could be that's blocking you from living your greatest life. Um, maybe that negative self-talk, maybe it's making you fearful. Maybe you're in a bad relationship. Maybe um, you're just afraid to, to start a new program or a new chapter in your life, new schooling, a new job, whatever it might be. Um, you know, but cut it out. Cut out the negative self-talk. Cut out the fear. Um, and love yourself and believe in yourself because if you don't, nobody else is going to. That's just the truth. You know, some of us, including myself, are, are lucky enough to have partners who are um, supportive and who loved us before and continue to love us now. But the truth is, if we don't respect ourselves and love, our, love ourselves, then you're not going to most likely get, get what you deserve. So um, demand it from others. Demand it from yourself. And ask yourself those questions. Are you living the best life you can? Um, and what's blocking you from doing it and find a way to go, go get it. Um, so that's my deep thoughts for today. And, you know, I say all the time at the end of videos and I mean it, my weight doesn't define me, your weight doesn't define you. And the truth is it never did, you know, and that's something I still continue to struggle with. It's definitely something I struggled with my entire life when I was morbidly obese. Um... You know, our weight doesn't define us. It's not who we are. So love yourself. And I love all of you. And this was my deep little video of the day. So I'll see you guys later.